How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Play Arts Kai review. Today, taking a look at the Marvel Universe variant Wolverine figure. This, again, was designed by Hitoshi Kondo, and I will say that this was probably my favorite Play Arts Kai pickup of 2017. Just an overall great figure. He does have some issues, but all in all, it's a wonderful figure. Um, if you are a Play Arts Kai fan um, or collector, definitely worth picking up if you don't have this in your collection. All right, let's take a look at the packaging really quickly. Again, it's the newer artwork. You can see Wolverine, an actual picture of the figure in a nice action pose. Again, designed by Hitoshi Kondo down here. You have the authenticity sticker, which is that hologram Play Arts Kai Square Enix sticker there. On top, you get the Square Enix logo. It is a window box so you just open up the flap where you can see the figure and all the accessory pieces on the other side you get a nice little write-up of the marvel universe um, lineup and then you also get a nice write-up of wolverine there hopefully you can um, read that coming across and some designer um cues and such which i always like too on there all right on the back here you get to see a nice little pic of some comic book kind of style picks and such and then on the bottom don't forget you got the authenticity machine stamp so look for that even though you can't really see it because it's kind of yeah right there okay all right bringing the figure back in now overall this thing is just spectacular i do like the fact that they went with the tiger stripe costume i love how the armor um works and, you know, again, you get that nice anime type of um, flair to it also. Very well detailed along with, um, I haven't really found like sloppy paint work on this figure. Um, very, very clean. And hopefully we will get in the black and silver look, much like what we got with the Uncanny X-Force Deadpool. Hopefully we get that with Wolverine here, um, but we'll see. He does come with quite a few accessory pieces, which we'll go over in a second. But well, let's take a closer look at some of the detail of the figure. The head sculpt that, or the head that comes packaged on him, it looks very nice. He does come with a secondary head. Uh, but this one, there we go, looks good. He's got that kind of just mad, like someone just stole his last beer. Um, I do like the uh, the paint on the armor bits, having that nicer shine, and then you got the matte look with the carbon fiber costume, and it is textured and such all the way throughout um, and such. And he does have, which is funny, he does have a little bit of like wear on the underside, like he's been um, walking around and such. That was a nice little added touch. You see his fists there. You have the nice added um, sculpted in hair for his arms. Unfortunately, uh, you can see through. You can kind of see right through him, unfortunately. But it's kind of a little bit of a common occurrence with some of the players' Kai stuff. But all in all, um, it's not that big of a deal. You can just move his arm in the way. But, but yeah, looks good. All right. Let's get into some of the accessories. We'll go over articulation and then some um, some size comparisons and such. All right, here's the secondary head that he comes with, which is a nice screaming face. Looks good. A lot better as far as the paint. Um, the BVS Superman, unfortunately, he, his his teeth weren't really painted very well. This actually is done very nicely. And such. He does come with, what we all expect, his some hands with some claws. Now, this is one gripe I've heard from some people that the claws are a little bit too long. In in all, but I think they they work. I'll put them on him at the end so you can kind of see what he looks like with them. But you do get the closed fisted claws popping out there. Then you get a more kind of stylized pair of hands with the claws popping out 
really nice detail as you can see within on the palm of his gloves to the knuckles and such all right and then he's got these nice kind of relaxed kind of hands same detail and then he has one right-handed gripping hand for the sword that he comes with which is this right here back out a little bit more there we go really nicely done got some nice gold and um, different shades of gold on the actual handle and to the hilt you got two shades on the blade you got black and then you got silver on the bottom a fairly large sword too I mean there it is next to him comes up right to his chest all right as far as articulation again you got all the same articulation that you are now getting with the newer player it's kai stuff um double ball peg for the head unfortunately there's not a lot of room because of the armor so you can't really look up this does move a little bit um so you can tuck that in kind of move it out of the way but he doesn't really look up that's as far as he goes can look down you also have the neck that's connected to the chest with a double ball peg so you get more range of motion there and then the chest is on a ball peg which is nice it's not on a hinge so you can look down you can make him look up and you don't have a huge gap which is really really nice they've designed this very very nicely to the point that even when he's looking forward there is no huge gap in the back and such so i like that his arms can go in and out you got this ball hinge right there which plugs into the chest unfortunately there there is no butterfly hinge which i guess you really don't need but it would have been kind of cool just for the fact that you know you could hold the sword with two hands but oh well um and then you could full range of motion though you can just pop it up slide it down all that he's got the uh, bicep cut which is nice but you can see that he's got these nice little veins and such in his arm but it breaks the scope when you're kind of twisting around a little bit and his arms are just absolutely huge maybe a little too big slightly i don't know you'd be the judge of that as far as his elbow, wrist, and ankles, they're all the same. They're the ratcheted ball hinge, which you can swivel at the top at the base. So, and then you get nice range of motion there. I'm not going to go over too much of that. You got the ball joint for the waist. So you got nice motion there, back and forth. Then it connects to the hip joints, where you get the ratchets forward. Not too far. You do have the floating crotch. These are cut, so you can move them. But they're not that soft of a plastic is about that far and can't go too far back because of the uh, sculpted butt piece there out side to side and then you can rotate it on that actual joint too but there's also a thigh cut which I don't really like because it breaks the sculpt especially like right there as you can see it's not flush anymore double jointed knees not bad i think the kneecap is hidden well by this um armor bit and then again same joint that we got with the wrists and the elbows for the ankle this is a softer plastic so you can move his foot up a little bit more you can manipulate around to get the rocker and then you got the toe hinge which goes about there and not bad so still very poseable very nice as far as size comparisons i do like the fact that they kept him in scale as far as him being a smaller character let me there we go so you can see him next to deadpool here and then i think i showcased him with the black panther so you can kind of see him with some of the other marvel characters but with the mutants at least here he is next to magneto 
So all in all, a really nice piece. Let's see, pop his um, hands out so you can see what the claws look like. There they are. I don't think they're too long. I mean, for what it is, I mean, this is supposed to be more of a stylized look of Wolverine. I think it works. I think it works really well. I mean, that's a nice, it's a nice silhouette right there. Just, yeah. So definitely recommend him. Again, price point, he's at that 150 range. Um, it may not be justified. Maybe he does come with more accessory pieces than um, some of the other Marvel variants that are out right now. I do think that he is worth it, though. Um, hands down, he looks good. Um, it's a really nice take of, on Wolverine. And um, yeah, so that's it for uh, the review of the Player Sky Marvel variant Wolverine. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like the video, please click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget Plastic Fanatics right here, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays. And I will talk to everyone later. Thanks.